Hello. In this video, I'm going to talk about the reactions of amides with hydride nucleophiles. And if you've been following along with this particular video, you might be, or sorry, if you've been following along with the whole video sequence, you might be ready uh, to predict what's going to happen when we're, we react any amide with lithium aluminum hydride because you will figure that like any other uh, of the carboxylic acid derivatives, we have this convenient leaving group and lithium aluminum hydride replaces it with the uh, hydrogen and uh, then goes on to, to reduce this aldehyde to the alcohol. And you are proposing a very, very realistic, why can't I draw another? Goodness. And you are proposing, now that I have my, my drawing tool back, a very, very realistic thing. And it's completely wrong. product of the reduction of an amide with lithium aluminum hydride is not an aldehyde or an alcohol. It is an amine. So what's going on here? Well, amides just kind of have to be different. Um, And in terms uh, of what's going on, let's, let's draw some kind of mechanism here and hope for the best. As far as mechanisms go, uh, we have nucleophilic attack. We're used to this. And then we have Now, we have a tendency when we talk about these reactions to not worry about what the fate of the aluminum thing is. But in this particular case, it's worth noting that the aluminum piece is electrophilic and so can become attached to the oxygen anion. I want to draw an extra bond. I want to put in a hydrogen. So now we have this intermediate, and then we would expect some kind of loss of leaving group, but it just kind of coincidentally happens that this thing is a better leaving group. And so off it goes. And now we have an imine, and the imine is going to react uh, a second time with lithium aluminum hydride using a mechanism similar to what aldehydes and ketones do and make an amine after neutralizing the reaction. Okay. So amides have to be different. Uh, however, what this means though is you have a, an interesting recipe for the synthesis of all sorts of, of complicated amines uh, just by starting from whatever the corresponding amide is. You know, so the the overall the, the overall transformation is simply removing the carbonyl group. So as long as your amide doesn't have a lot of tertiary and uh, you know quaternary centers on it, you can make just about any amine so this way. So if you have a tertiary amide, if you have a cyclic amide, you know, 
need to make this complicated. We can react with lithium aluminum hydride and make the cyclic amine. So there we go. Now, uh, that isn't to say that there aren't ways to make lithium aluminum hydride or make amides into other functional groups by reduction. Um, and so I'm going to drag out. Here, let's let's grab this. So if we use diisobutyl aluminum hydride followed by one EIBAH followed by two acidic aqueous workup. We can in fact reduce amides to aldehydes uh, and this behaves similarly to the reduction of uh, esters to aldehydes in that the first step is an electrophilic reaction where the amide is a nucleophile and the second step is uh, right, and it forms an intermediate that is generally a little bit more stable under these conditions and so it can undergo acidic hydrolysis um, and I'm, I'm going to draw the structure of that intermediate, but you can go back uh, and watch the ester video to figure out how, where this comes from and where it goes. So just like in the case of the, the esters, this thing is pseudo stable and it will hang around until you hydrolyze it. There we go. In the, and so, so there is a way to convert some ester, some amides into two aldehydes. In the next video, I'm going to share uh, how you might, or what the consequences of reacting Grignard reagents with amides are. Uh, and some reactions between Grignard reagents and amides can be productive. So thank you for watching.